How's everybody doing tonight? Y'all doing well tonight? Well, Al, if you're able to, I want you to go ahead and come forward if, you, if you'd like to. If you're comfortable sitting where you are, that's fine as well. But just want you to know you have liberty tonight. And, and kind of what's going to take place is uh, I'm going to open up with a scripture. We'll pray. And then about the fourth song in or so, um, as, we, as we go forward, things we'll be doing, the baptism. We had, I think, four people signed up to do the baptism. But tonight's just a night to where we just to pour our love on our Heavenly Father. Amen. And I want to start with Psalms 149. It says, praise the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song, and his praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with the dance, and let them sing praises to him with a timbrel and heart. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in the glory, and let them sing aloud on their beds. And let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. You know, our praise is like a weapon. Our praise is something that as we glorify the Heavenly Father, great things happen. Great things manifest. Amen. Let's go ahead and stand to your feet. Tonight just is about just being in God's presence. And it's amazing throughout Scripture how, how when we worship the Lord, different things happen. His presence will come into a room where two or three, there he is in the midst of us. And everyone worships God in different ways and, and don't feel compelled to do one way or the other. It's about your, your personal relationship with God. Worship is also not a private thing, it's, but also something that we publicly do. Whether we clap our hands, whether we, you dance or whatever it is. But tonight is about just loving on our Heavenly Father. But also a time when people are baptized tonight, that what they're doing is they're making a public profession of an inward change. Amen. Amen. So let's just open our hearts and yield our hearts tonight. Heavenly Father, you are welcome in this place. You're welcome to move in every heart. Thank you, Lord, for just doing something significant and something personal in each one of our lives. I thank you that we all have gone through things, walked through things, and maybe experienced challenges in our lives. And whatever we are, wherever we might be in our walk, in this life, Lord, I thank you that you speak to us personally, directly. Thank you for healing hearts that need to be healed, restoring hearts that need to be restored. Bring strength to those that need strength. Those that might be in hopeless situations, bring hope tonight. And we just pour our heart. All those watching by way of internet, I just thank you that there's no distance. I thank you, Lord, that just right where they are, I thank you that the presence of God will be strong. The presence of God would maybe would, would heal bodies, would strengthen hearts and minds tonight. And we just thank you for just your goodness in our lives, that we see your goodness, we experience your goodness, that maybe we even, someone here tonight, maybe even hear your voice for the very first time. Thank you, Father. Thank you for manifesting yourself in this place with your presence. Thank you for the love of God being manifested in this place tonight. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Give him a shout of praise. Amen. We come to get drenched tonight. All of this is open. This is a whole lot of space for anybody who wants to just come up and just worship and honor God on tonight. There's going to be praise. There's going to be worship. We're going to jump. We're going to shout. We're going to give God everything we have tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The atmosphere has changed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody give him glory right now. Come on, let me hear you. Woo! We're ready. For a downpour, let it fall fresh. Let it fall fresh on us. We're ready for revival. Let it fall fresh. 
let it fall fresh on us. It's coming down, it's pouring out. The time is now, we need the rain. Everybody say, we need the rain. Come on, we need the rain, we need the rain. Turn the lights up. Hallelujah, look, 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 y'all, 
May your grace, love, and mercy be upon us. No weapon going prosper, no matter the opponent. We got favor, and we're not moved by the haters. He take us up high, something like an elevator. Uh, yeah, so let the rain come down. We gonna use our faith to say, let it come right now. From the heavens up above, all the way to the ground. You can soak us in your glory, you're the reason we shout. We are not under, we above. Let it rain, not a trickle, but a flood. We are not under, we above. Let it rain, not a trickle, but a flood. Come on, make some noise for Jesus. on us tonight. Anybody can use a little bit of rain in your life? Yeah, hallelujah. Woo. Showers of blessings. I'm telling you, we come to get drenched tonight. Hallelujah. Here's something that you really need to know. This night is dedicated to Jesus. I wish I had one witness. I said, this night is dedicated to Jesus. All throughout this night, we're going to be saying his name. He gets the glory. Thank you, Lord. I just want to speak the name Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Till every dark addiction starts to pray.
your name. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is power. Break every stronghold. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. Burn like a fire. Come on. Your name. Thank you. 
and shout your name tonight. The name that's above every name. Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We speak Jesus in our homes. We speak Jesus on our job. We speak Jesus in our finances. Jesus when we coming in and when we going out. Jesus. The most powerful name in all the world. Jesus. Let's just pray in the Holy Ghost all over this building. Come on. and holding you up so there's nothing I can do to let you down it doesn't take a trophy to make you proud I'll never be more loved than I am right now I'm going through a storm but I won't go How I feel right now, 
on a mountain top I can see so clear what it's all about So stay by my side when the sun goes
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We glorify your name in this place tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you that you are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. We thank you that you are the Alpha and you are the Omega. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah for your goodness and faithfulness. I thank you, Lord, that you gave us the Word of God. You gave us your Word, your living, breathing Word. Hallelujah, that Word that is sharper than any two-edged sword. That Word that divides between soul and spirit, joint and marrow, and the thoughts and the intents of the heart. That you gave us your Word. Hallelujah, to reveal who you are to us. You gave us your very Word. You gave us your Word so we could know you personally, that we could know you intimately, that we could could, that we could know the love that you have for each one of us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. You see, every name in Scripture is the gospel. Hallelujah. Think about, for the, think about that for a moment. The name, every name that is given in the Word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just turn the overall band down. Thank you, Father. The gospel, and you can turn this it's a little hot, hallelujah, that the name, every name that is decreed is the gospel. In Acts chapter 4, it says, it was in that name, in faith in that name, that made that man strong. It was faith in that name that made that man strong. We're declaring the name Jireh, which means provider. You know, we could declare the name Jehovah Makedesh, which is the Lord that sanctifies us. Meaning, He has sanctified us. He has separated us. He has sanctified you and me in, unto a call, unto a purpose. He has separated us, sanctified us out of darkness and into His marvelous light. That's His name, Jehovah Makedesh. He's our sanctifier. Jehovah, Jehovah Rohi, it declares that he's our shepherd. So if we just talk about the shepherd, what are we doing? We're declaring the gospel, the good news, that he's going to direct my life, that he's my shepherd, and he's going to lead me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. We could say, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth thee. It's the gospel. Jehovah Sidkenu, our righteousness. So when we declare he's the righteous God, he's a righteous God. He's, he's what he is. He has made me right. He has caused me to be righteous, to cause me to come boldly into the throne of grace, that I could receive grace, that I could receive mercy in the time of help, in the time of need. I'm telling you, his name and every name declares the gospel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 We speak Jesus. We speak Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Transition back into I speak Jesus. Oh, we speak Jesus in this place, the gospel. When we speak his name, it was in faith in that name that made that man strong. We're not here to, we're here not for any other reason. You could be any other place tonight, but you're here lifting up Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, I, I remember, man, January 23rd of 1993, and a lot of you have heard my story. But it was when I called upon the name of the Lord. I was working at a liquor store at the time. I was, I was, uh, I was, uh, I drank a 12-pack a day and a pint of Bacardi 151 every day. Smoked two packs of cigarettes a day. And I had a start of a respiratory disease. This was going on almost 20 years of age. And I was in my sister's living room, and I've been going to church over a period, a, a short amount of time. And I remember I was like, Lord, if you're real. I, I, I grew up in church, so I, I'd seen different aspects of religion, and I, and I, I grew up in a Christian home. And, and so, I, but yet, God wasn't real to me. God wasn't real to me. But when that particular night, when I declared his name, when I spoke his name, when I cried out for Jesus at, on that Sunday evening and I cried out to him, the presence of God came into the very room that I was in and totally brought healing to my body from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. 
The doctor said if things didn't change, I would be on oxygen every day for the rest of my life. But on that night, I was totally healed. Why? Because when I called on his name, I was releasing my faith in everything he is. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands to heaven. Hallelujah. We declared, we declared that you're Jireh. Lord, and I don't know those watching by way of internet or those that are here in this place tonight. I thank you that you would be their provider in this moment. Wherever they might be lacking, maybe maybe it's financial, maybe it's just they're lacking hope tonight. Maybe they're lacking direction, they're lacking purpose. But there's some sort of void in their heart. There's some sort of void in their life. And in this moment, as we, as we declare your name, we declare you over our situation. Maybe it's over your family. Maybe it's your parents. Maybe, maybe it's symptoms in your physical body or, 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 or something going on at work or someone that's you know, giving you a hard time. Maybe it's someone that, that has treated you in a wrong way. Whatever it is, you just let it fall to the wayside. The, the Word of God tells us in Hebrews chapter 12, it says, lay aside every weight. Lay aside every weight and sin. It doesn't say just lay aside sins, but it says lay aside weights. Lay aside every weight and, and every sin that would so easily beset us. And what does it say? Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith. Just in this moment, while we continue to worship the Lord and before we transition into something else, just, just make this moment, make this moment His moment. Declare Jesus over your situation. Speak the good news over your situation. The Bible says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the gospel. And as we decree Jesus, we're declaring the good news over our situation. Hallelujah. We speak Jesus. We speak Jesus over every lack. Hallelujah. Just as I lacked in my life, I lacked, I lacked health in my body. I lacked direction in my, in my life. I, direct, I lacked hope in my life. And, and when I cried out to Jesus, I thank you that the presence of God came in and filled my life. Filled my life. Fill our lives tonight. Fill our lives tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We speak Jesus. We speak Jesus. Just sing that out before we transition to another song. Just sing that out to him. Hallelujah. Thank you. I just want to speak the name Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. To every dark addiction. 
in the streets Jesus in the darkness of every enemy Jesus for my family I speak the holy name Jesus Shout Jesus from the mountains Jesus in the streets Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my Jesus family. For my his name tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Anybody feel his presence in here tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Has 
come to honor you. The man you say has come to worship you. Come on, Savior, Savior. The man you saved, the man you saved has come to honor you. The man you saved has come to worship you. And we know him as a helper. Come on. Has he ever healed anybody in here tonight? He's a healer. The man you healed has come to honor you. The man you healed has come to worship you. Y'all just play that one time. Tonight we call you Father. Father.
Father, we thank you. Where would we be without you? Where would we be without the love that you have for us? Because while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, gave himself for us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the abundant life that you have made available to us. Jesus said in John chapter 10, he said, the thief comes to steal, to kill and destroy. That's what he did with Adam and Eve in the very beginning. That's what, Adam, what happened with Adam and Eve in the garden. The enemy came to steal their purpose, their identity, their God-likeness, their their image of who they were and who, who God had made them to be. And the enemy came in and deceived them out of, of what God had promised them, what God had given them, everything that he made available. But Jesus said, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, but I have come. I have come that you might have life and have it in abundance. I thank you for the Zoe life of God, the God kind of life. Thank you for the uh, promises that we have, the promises of eternity. We thank you, Lord, that, that, that you, have, you, you have called us into your family, that you have called us. You said in, in, in 1 John chapter 3, beloved, how much that you would call us sons and daughters of God. And it says, now are we sons and daughters of God. If we have called upon the name of the Lord and we have, we have believed in our heart and we've confessed with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you said that we would be saved. So tonight we, we, we once again make that declaration. We declare that you are Lord. Just out of your own heart, if you made Jesus the Lord of your life, just say, you are my Lord. You are my King. You're my Savior. And then if we made Jesus the Lord of our life, one of the things that we do it's, is, is the waters of baptism. There's nothing holy about the water. There's nothing extraordinary about the water, but it's about our faith and what the water represents. The Word of God likens the experience of baptism to being buried Paul writes to the churches and, and, and to, in the epistles, and he says that in the likeness that you would be buried with him, and just as you were buried with him, you have been risen with him. In the waters, going under the waters of, of baptism and coming up out of the water is a representation of old things have passed away and all things have become new. It's a, it's this, the waters of baptism is something that we can look back upon and, and we can say that, yes, I made a decision to follow Jesus. I made a decision to make him Lord of my life and I become a new creation in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away and all things have become new. The waters of baptism also represent, it did in Jesus' ministry, it represented a, a place of change. It represented a, a, a transition. It represented that I'm not going back, but I'm going forward. And it was a representation that, that, that as he stepped into this new life and this new journey, that the Spirit of God came upon his life. And not only was he born, not only was he, was he in, uh, God, the Son of God, but then he was going to be empowered to accomplish every task that was before him. 
him. So, Lord, as we as we do baptisms today, I thank you, Lord, that, that those being baptized will recognize and, and will know that they have the Spirit of God in their lives that will direct them uh, uh, from this day forward, that they'll be able to look back on this day and they'll say, I am a daughter of God. I am a son of God. And the Holy Spirit will direct me and guide me all the days of my life. So at this time, I'd like to call forward McKenna Weaver. I apologize if I don't say this right. Akintoe Asolu and Terry Leonard. If you could come forward and just create a line right there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. If I could ask some church family, if you can kind of just make a make a circle if you want here and just make room for the families, the, those that are taking pictures, that we can be a part of this journey. And, you know, one thing about worship night, and sometimes we can be spectators and not realizing worship is, is that we are to be a participator. It's not you just sitting back and letting the worship team entertain you. But it's about you diving in. It's about you, you surrendering everything and laying everything at Jesus' feet tonight. And so let's be a part of this journey with those being baptized. Amen. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. so much power in the name
Jesus, just just come up as we continue to worship the Lord and and just tap me on the shoulder and we can baptize you as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you are our King and our Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah for healings that are happening in this place. Thank you, Father, for decisions being made. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for just make people making heart decisions right now. Lord, just, just even they might not feel worthy. And they might not feel like that they belong because they've made too many mistakes and they've made too many bad choices. But I thank you, Lord, that they, that, 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 they, they, they just have, would have the ability and the freedom that would just to come to you, whether it's right now or whether as they lay their head down tonight, they'll just be able to just give everything to you and make a new beginning, a new beginning and a fresh start, Father. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for your plan and your purpose being fulfilled in our lives. Hallelujah. Let's just continue to worship the Lord. to the sky Woo. your righteousness is like the mighty mount just as like the mighty deed Woo. how priceless is your unfailing love oh by and low among men by sh shelter in your wings Woo. the one you love has come to worship the one you love has come to worship you love has come to worship. Come on, worship, 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 worship. Woo. One you love, the one you love, Jesus. Worship, worship, up. You check that out. Your love is amazing. 
of myself, Jesus still loves me. In spite of yourself, Jesus still loves you. We belong to him. And he is soon to return. Every now and then you have to remind yourself that you're not walking alone. And you have to tell yourself, his love is amazing. It's amazing. There might be somebody here tonight, you made the decision to walk away from him. But then you remembered about his love towards you and you couldn't walk away. Because he loves us. His love is amazing. Jesus. Jesus. He loves us. Oh, how he loves us.
Jesus, I love you. He said, I'm here to love on you tonight. I'm here to love on you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Five words you need to know. you to leave out of here encouraged tonight. That's all you got to do is get in your car and just say, he is jealous for me. Y'all come on down here. Y'all come on down. We need to do this together. Come on. My God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Come on, let's make one big circle. Come on. Come on. My God. My God, how great you are.
Just wrap your arms around yourself and love on the Father tonight. Come on. My God, my God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Can I hear everybody sing that tonight? My God. I'm going to ask you to do something tonight. It's an act of reverence. Can we just bow before the king tonight? There's no restraints in here. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Oh God. Wherever you are, just find a place. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus.
God, say, this is holy ground. This is holy ground. He can't almost shut my hand. The weight of his glory is in the house. right there, stay right there, just a little while longer, we're pressing in, press in, press in, press in, press in,
worshiping you and listening. And there was something that shifted in the atmosphere. And it's, um, and what I kind of heard the Spirit of the Lord say in my heart was, what took you so long? What took you so long? And I just, as he said that, I just, I just believe that it was a shift because it was like a room full of people made a decision to not just spectate, but chose to participate in worship. He said, what took you so long? And I just have this, this, uh, as a pastor, as the pastor, and just this drawing, I just sense that that we have to bring this heart of worship every time we come into this house, whether it's especially in a corporate setting. We have to bring this attitude of total surrender in worship because it's in that atmosphere, nothing is impossible. He said, what took you so long? I, I believe there was, a, there was a mark made in the spirit realm that there will be no turning back from. Whether you realize it or not, as, as a church body, even though we don't represent the whole heritage of faith, there was something done by the spirit of the Lord that there won't be a going back to. We were sowing seeds into the future of what the Spirit of the Lord is doing and is going to do. There's a corporate anointing that manifests when we just worship Him. And we all were going, we all were going the same direction there wasn't it was almost like all of a sudden people forgot about the people on their left and their right and forgot about everything that was going around them and just for a brief moment forgot that what they have to do next week or what report they might have received today it was just all of a sudden it was just as abandoned and we were all doing the same thing worshiping our heavenly father in the very throne room of heaven So let's make a determined decision, a quality decision, whether it's a Sunday morning, a Wednesday night, and even in a really our personal walk with God, that we will make Him the object of our affection. And we will come here on a Sunday morning and we will give Him everything that we have. Because it's in that atmosphere, though, he reveals himself. He speaks. He sets free. He delivers. It, it, it all of a sudden, then what happens is then the, the outside of these four walls begin to recognize there's something happening on the back roads of Crowley. And something's taking place. And there's something working. There's something moving. I don't know what it is, but God's there. God's doing something. And next thing you know... It's, it, it, it's being noised abroad of what the Holy Spirit is doing, what the Spirit of God is doing. So let's make a decision to not go back. In Jesus' name. Stretch your hands out towards all those in the worship team. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And Father, we pray over this group of worshipers that have sacrificed so much of their time 
to practice, to work on their craft, to work on their skills in every way. Lord, I just thank you that you just multiply back to them all the things that they have sown to glorify you. Lord, I thank you that there's not one person on this, on this stage, Lord, that, that, wants to, that desires to be seen by man, but their heart is to worship you with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. Lord, I thank you for continuing to bring creativity and talent from the north, the south, and the east, and the west, Father, to, to multiply and increase and bring, bring all that we are to another level, level, Lord. I thank you for adding, 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 adding. Thank you for adding, adding to each one of those on the stage, adding to them in their personal life, adding to them, Lord, adding to them as it pertains to their talents, their heart, their heart's desire, Lord. I thank you, Father, for just doing the extraordinary and, and bringing about the sound of heaven. Thank you for the sound of heaven. Thank you for the, thank you, Father, that heritage, there's a sound for heritage. I thank you that heritage has a sound that, that we are, that's being discovered by the Spirit of the Lord. And there will be a sound that we will release from this house. There will be revelation in words and songs and psalms released from this house that will not only just, not only that will spur on this church body, not only set this church body free, but I thank you that, that there'll be sounds and songs and words and psalms that will be released, that will be, that will set people free across the world, set people free, set people free, and the things that come out of this house will be done in other places, things that will be released through these, through these players, through these through these uh, instruments, through these hands, through these these fingers, through these vocals and these words and these notes, Lord, it'll be something to be noised abroad all around the world, and it will bring freedom. It will bring freedom. It will bring people to a point. It will bring people a point to, of surrender. It will bring people to a point of being in all of God, all of who He is. Hallelujah. We thank You for it. We thank You for it. It's very important to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. We had something written down, set lists, the way we were going to do everything. But God said, I want to go that way. And tonight, we were drenched in Jesus. Just, this is something that's just kind of developed in the last, uh, really, since yesterday. And it's kind of short notice, but I believe it's um, by the Spirit of the Lord. And um, I talked to the Savelles, and they messaged me about a couple things, and we talked back and forth. And um, mark your calendars, because I believe there it's something that's going to be deposited within our church and um, it's going to be on Monday night on August 22nd like I said we haven't had a chance to talk to even we just got back yesterday but August uh, 22nd at 7 p.m. we're going to have a Holy Spirit night with Roddy Howard Brown here um, it's going to be here on on uh, Monday night at 7 o'clock and um, he's going to be in, in town doing things and it had it on his heart and he Dr. Savelle ministered there th like three times last year and different different meetings, like three, one day I think it's a week long, and another time he went back two months later for another five days. And um, and so we we talked back and forth, so I was talking to his um, guy that's under him, talking back and forth, so we're making arrangements. And so, um, so anyway, so Monday night, and not this Monday, but the following Monday, be Rodney Howard Brown and... Um, and so I, I, I don't know any other details. I think he's, I don't I think he's bringing a worship team. I'm not sure, actually. I don't know. But I know it's God, and it's going to be a good thing. And, um, and uh, I'm expecting great things. I believe it's going to make a deposit um, in, uh, in where we're going as a church. 
Hallelujah. I'm done. Do you have anything else? Pastor Annette, do you have anything? Hallelujah. Pastor Phil, Pastor Diane, do you have anything? Good to be back. It was good to see her, her be with all of her family and her grandchildren and surprise them. And Sunday I'll be back ministering. It's been good. Hallelujah. It's good right now. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good, Nicole. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. I don't have really anything else to say except for. Uh, Let's give him Jesus. Love you all. See you on Sunday morning.